G'day hunters, welcome to Call of the Wild. We're back out here again in Australia, but today we're doing things a little different. We are going on a crossbow hunt, which is great. As you can see here, from all three distances, uh, our groupings are pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty confident things should be alright, so let's just go. So we got ourselves a nice stag out here, about 175 meters out, obviously too far for the crossbow. And he's not the biggest, but that's not the goal of today's video. But we did bring a secret weapon, and that is the electronic caller here. So if we can put this down and set it to go for the red deer, I think we should have a relatively decent chance of uh, possibly calling him in. That's what we'll be hoping for anyway. We'll see how it goes. Well, it's certainly got the attention. The wind is in a perfect position for us, and it is traveling towards us already within 85 meters. We do want to try and get close and make some close ethical shots. Is what we're sort of hoping. He's just gone attentive there. So I think we just need to... Well, we can pretty much just hunker down here. We've got a good little vision here. So I reckon it'll be fine. But we need to actually get our dog doing something. Uh, we'll get him to lay down as well. So he can stay out of the way. And we'll keep an eye on this good little stag. See what he's going to do. We could obviously take this shot from here. But don't really want to. We can get him into about, oh, yeah, 40 is good. <laughs> Even close would be better, but 40 is pretty good. I'm not going to waste too much time because he is a small little guy. But I'm thinking, oh, no. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Ah. Uh, he is only little, so I don't want to waste too much time with him. But 40 there. Should be able to pop that straight in there. That got a lung. That was pretty decent overall, so I'm pretty stoked with that. Good to see that electronic cola works really well. He's not going to be nothing too great. He's only going to be a small little silver, but that shot there, he penetrates. I love the penetration of a crossbow. Fun fact, I've got a crossbow in real life. They are prohibited in Australia, but I do have the permit, which is required, but pretty uncommon for an Australian to have a crossbow, so I do like hunting with them in real life, but I also really like hunting with them in game, so uh, we did actually bring the 7 mil. Just for a bit of fun, just in case anything like this happens. So we can still sort of cull out the littler animals we don't really want taking up the herd. Not the best shot there, but that's fine. We'll, we'll move on. He might drop, but I'll, I'll chase him down, but you guys don't need to see that. I think we just found our next target, guys. I wasn't even looking over here until I saw this little pair of antlers sticking up here. We got a fairly decent, he's probably only going to be silver, but a level 4 Javan Rooster deer. And he's about 170 meters out. We do have the call and the wind is behind us. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go and maybe probably hide in one of these bushes just up a touch further. We're just going to let that call do its thing. But I'm thinking, yeah, if we stay there, we're completely hidden back just a little bit. So that's going to be the idea. He is right behind that tree, but that will not be a problem at all. We can deploy this thing just over here. Shouldn't be in the way. And then we need to go down to the Rusa and start that call. And that should be spot on for us here. Now all we got to do, stand here and wait. Oh, we've certainly got his attention. Fingers crossed, he's gone from eating to traveling. So that tells me he's probably going to be coming in towards us here. He's quite a nice specimen, that one there. He's small. But he's still a damn good looking deer. Always got to keep an eye out too. Because usually if there's one, then there's more. We just got to see if we can spot any others. I don't think so. The kangaroo over there. Level 7. Not a bad size at all. But you never know where all these deer are going to come from. Oh, he's come up quite close. This situation could be much better for us. We're completely hidden. The wind is behind us. Uh, the wind is in front of us. So he's not going to smell us. He's not going to hear us. And he's not going to see us. So... I don't see how this could really go too bad as long as we can hit our shot. He's just gone alert though, and I'm actually not sure why. I'm not sure if it's because of us. But let's just, uh, before he flees. Oh, right in the bum. That's not a good shot at all. Actually, no. It looked like it got him in the bum. But it doesn't seem like it did. Okay, looks like we managed to get along. A bit worried there. It's not exactly the uh, not exactly the shot that I wanted to take. I'm not 100% sure why he went alert there. 
I really don't have a clue. Me and the dog were both very well hidden. But I suppose for hunts like this, I probably shouldn't really have the dog with us. So that's fine. The wind is still in that position. I kind of want to get a kangaroo with one. So we might go after him next. Kangaroo's taken off in front of us here. He's not running away as such, but he's actually got in a better position for us to walk up. Talk. He's about 150 meters out. But here is that Rusa. He is very quite small, actually. <laughs> Well off gold, but I just want to take one of these down. And overall, yes, it did hit him in the bum. But luckily, that penetration got him straight through into the liver. Not a good shot. I was trying to get to the side here, but obviously, he either moved or I just choked. But either way, it's certainly good to get him down. There's another one up there, but he's not very big. So we're going to leave him. But I certainly want to go after this kangaroo if he is still around. There is another one up here that we can go for. But uh, the one that's nice and close is certainly the one that oh, I'm keen on getting. Well, the kangaroo's gone. Or in the trophy screen, he obviously uh, took off. And uh, that might have been him that was there. He's, he's resting now. So, honestly, I think we're going to go out there and see if we can grab him. We're going to probably take a bit of a longer shot on him. Because they are quite jumpy. <laughs> no pun intended there. But, yeah, I reckon we should be able to snag him. That might have been him, honestly. And they just travelled really quite quickly. But... By the way, they're the same level, level 7, and he's a relatively decent size. So if we can grab him with the crossbow, that'll be a pretty good achievement, I'd say. Alrighty, guys, he's got alert and alarmed, and he's fleeing. Can we beat him? No, we can't beat him to it. Ah, uh, damn. That's a real shame. I couldn't find him as I was coming up over the ridge. So I really don't know how or why or what was going on there. We do have another kangaroo there. It is only a female. <laughs> But, I mean, I want to say that we got a kangaroo with the uh, with the crossbow. And this one here, I can tell you, is certainly not bothered. I'm going to make sure there's none others. I thought I just saw the prompt there for a second, but it doesn't seem to be. There's usually more than one in a rest zone, but apparently there's only one in this one. Either way, I think that we're going to try and... Uh, ruin its day anyway it is calm and it is traveling they're probably in between zones but we can get it with the second notch here as long as we can lead the shot right oh we hit it and we hit it good holy hell okay i'm pretty happy with that that's a lot <laughs> all right i didn't quite expect that i wasn't sure of the the speed of the crossbow i know that it's certainly slower than a bullet but by the way, it appears we managed to get it with a pretty good little shot. I was hoping for a lung, so I reckon if that's what we can get, that's what we got. Obviously, not exactly a trophy. Um, can't even find it now. Found it. It's not exactly a trophy, just a female. But uh, either way, we got it. Uh, no trophy organ hit. All right, there we go. Just did the stomach and intestines. Yeah, so it was a lot slower. Never mind. Well, the speed that was going down, I thought for sure that we got a decent shot on it, but it seems as though that was not meant to be. Well, we found a fellow deer. <laughs> One around this whole entire big lake. I know this probably isn't the best spot. I haven't really had much luck with fellows here in the past, and it is the only drink time that they have at the moment. I'm probably going to skip forward to some Bantang or something soon, but this guy here, while he's here, we might as well try and call him in a little bit. I'm just trying to get used to this little sounder here, and... I actually really like the concept of it. It'd be a pretty big game changer for a lot of things. So it will be good to see. See if we can get something in. Uh, I'm going to be pretty not not overly strict on which kind of shots we take. I'd like to find a bush to hide us. But if we can get in within 60, 80 meters, I think that would be okay. We'll just see. We are fully hidden here, which is actually good. So we'll just see how far forward we can come. Yeah, this is this is pretty good here. So we'll see if he comes. He's already coming in, so we'll just uh Yeah, pray for the best, I guess. If we can get him sort of this part here wouldn't be too bad if we can get him to sort of stop around there. Because otherwise he's gonna come up here, which isn't gonna be the best angle for us, but we'll just see how everything pans out. You know what? Because he's small, we're probably just gonna go for something like this. He's quartering towards us. 80 meters out. Just gotta aim on the second dot. Right in that chest cavity. That was an instant drop so we either got a heart or a spine judging where we aimed i imagine it was probably going to be more like a heart shot so if we could have heart shot a fallow deer from 80 meters a day 80 meters away i'd be pretty damn impressed don't care too much about the trophy because he's small but 
Oh god, that hit a hell of a lot higher than I thought. Straight in the spine. Oh no. So we got where we wanted, but he it did fly just a little bit higher. Uh, which is a real shame. So I thought we might have got it. It was in line with the heart there, but definitely, I guess, from the angle we're in. I mean, technically still an ethical shot because it did manage to get a lung, but overall, I'm not overly pleased. I don't like spining animals. So since I'm a sucker for punishment, and apparently we haven't struggled enough already <laughs> during uh, our crossbow hunt here, what I've done is I've switched over to the 600 grain bolts, obviously, with the tracer. They pack a punch for sure, but we are now in Bantang drinking time. So let's go get those big horn cows and um, see. I know obviously the best place to get them is up and around this sort of coastline, but I'm for sure going to sort of check out a couple of these lakes first because they tend to be up in this top right region. Um, but that's just what I've heard. So that's just a theory. We'll see if we can snag a couple before we finish the video. One thing's for sure though, as much as I do love using the crossbow in this game, I am actually keen to get back to a rifle. So I sort of the crossbow is kind of that middle middle ground. I love it, but I'd actually, if I'm gonna go to the effort to use a crossbow, I'd rather use a compound bow. Um in a in a tree stand or or something like that, a tripod stand and call things in real nice and close. Because honestly, I might as well just use a rifle. Well, the theory is correct. We do have some Bantang here, only level three, so I wouldn't mind trying to find a four. Or something just a little bit bigger than that. But at least it's good to see that they are hanging around this area. So if nothing else, we've got a chance there. We also have some uh, Sambadir over there as well, which is good. So I don't particularly want to get too close to these. Um, we do have a level 4 there. And another one there as well. Which one is bigger? This one is certainly bigger. We've got the Bantang and the Max. Actually, it's actually quite a big one. Okay, I didn't realize that. So, diamond is 137 on these. This has an estimate between 133 and 144. So, I kind of want to follow him around and see if I can't take him down. Imagine if we got him down with the crossbow. That's going to either be a really big gold. I'm not sure if these can make diamond, but I would imagine, based on my past experiences with every animal under the sun, he's probably just going to end up being a, a pretty big gold. But... Uh, yeah, I'm keen to see how this ends up painting out. Times like this, I wish I could just use the rifle. I do have the 7 mil with me, but that's not in the spirit of this video. He's fleeing up over the hill there. I'm really just struggling to get a good position on him. I'm always below the hill. I'm always too loud, too noisy, and I, I'm kind of deliberately not chasing him away and stuff as such, but I'm kind of deliberately just following him, I guess. Trying to split him away. Um, don't really know how that strategy is going to work. It, it's not really working that great so far. It's going to scare him towards the coast there. Here he is right here, about 60 meters out. I don't really want to take the shot, but I think I'm going to because I just can't seem to get any decent time on him here. Um, it's going to be a little further. Probably around that 70, 80 now. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't take that. Uh, need to range him again and see where he's at. Good thing I didn't because he's now 90 meters out. There's not a hope in hell. I'm thinking he's going pretty slow. I might just run after him and then just bloody yeet a shot into the side of him and see if I can <laughs> do something here because this is not good for me. I'm, I'm, I'm patient, but I'm not that patient. Okay. He's sort of around that 60 now. I don't want to mess up a potential diamond here, but... Ah, he's just not giving me the angle. Just not giving me that angle. We're making good ground on him. I know this isn't exactly ideal hunting here. If they decide to turn on me, that's not good at all. But, really, within that 50 now, I've got a decent feeling. Oh, no. He's just a big one, isn't he? He's just big. I feel like we could just about bloody catch him. Where <laughs> he's he's not that quick. Within 40 there. I just wish that he'd Okay. Okay, never mind. He's quick now. He was just not being quick before. Within about 40. Maybe just above. We hit him with a terrible shot. I don't want to completely mess up the 
I want to completely mess up the trophy. Uh, that's not going to take him down. I apologize for just how painful this is, but we're going to try and get him <laughs> with the rifle because he is going to go down very slowly and we're going to completely ruin the trophy. I should never have taken that shot. And I probably should have just left it for when I had a rifle at a later date. But, oh well, what's done is done now. And we can't, can't lose it. We cannot lose this trophy. Very low blood trail. Which is good in a way, but it's also bad in a lot of other ways too. Not the kind of ethical, ethical hunting that I like and that I preach. Um... My concern now is I can't actually see him. He's going to die if he's not already dead without me getting a good shot on him. Obviously, we're not going to get a quick kill. Right, so the trophy's pretty much already ruined. 0 to 25, so it would not surprise me if he is already dead. And I think that's sort of what we're going to be looking at. Is that he is going to be dead and he's probably going to be just up here somewhere. Uh, it's not exactly the death that I want to ever give any animal. Very unfortunate. And I, uh, yeah, I accept full responsibility that I should have never taken that shot. <laughs> Don't roast me in the comments. I just got impatient. It's, uh, it's tough. You know what it's like when you see a big trophy like that. Especially when you're not properly set up for it. There's no calls for it. Anything like that. But, uh, yeah, I should have just given in. Used to be 7 mil. Or try to be a bit more skillful than, ah, uh, than dumb. But anyway, it's okay. So I just looked at it. He's got very, very little health. Um, but he didn't die. He actually survived it. There is no hunting pressure anywhere here. Which is honestly quite a good thing. That's not him there. That is another big four there. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's good to know he's still alive. I'm sure we'll probably find him at a later date. Um, but I mean, yeah, none of this is ideal. None of this is ideal, but it's all right. Uh, I think that's going to do us for our uh, crossbow hunting. It is hard. Uh, it's not obviously impossible. It's not that difficult overall if you're patient and not an absolute nuffy. But uh, what's done is done. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, all of that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the very next video.